Hi everyone, it's Vacha here for RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again today. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to achieve vocal delay repeat special effect using Studio One Prime, the free DAW. To demonstrate this effect, I'm just going to play a quick demo that I put through. Now you might have noticed right in the end how the last words repeated. Even though we don't have any of the vocal repeating and we don't have any automation as well in there. We are simply achieving this by using an effects bus and we are sending the vocal track to the effects bus and achieving this result. Looking at what's on the tracks, I have nothing added from the samples that I have drawn to make up this quick uh, demonstration for, for the vocal. Let's close them. So, except I have two sends. One send, which is uh, sending the vocal to the effects channel. And at the same time, I have another send, which is the sidechain effects send. One being post-fader, one being pre-fader. I will talk about the sidechain a bit later on. But to find out the secret of how to achieve this repeat of the last uh, word in the song, which is a great effect, especially for a slow songs. Let's have a look what's happening inside the effects bus. Now in the effects bus, I have a bit delay and a channel strip. Just gonna turn off the channel strip for the time being. Open up the bit delay. This is my bit delay. And I have my bit delay as one bar, so it's a bar delayed. And mix it 100%, wide stereo. I have added 6 milliseconds of cross delay to give even wider delay effect. And my pink factor, I have actually selected uh, the uh, multiple uh, uh, for this on this side. And you can always play around with different effects by having uh, this, the, the pink painter setting a different uh, set. At the same time, you can also play around with the, the, the tempo bits as well. So whether instead of one bar, you can do half bar and so on. But um, I'll leave that, we'll experiment a bit later on. So let's have a listen without the channel strip because the channel strip um, is the uh, special bit that we're gonna look at. And also the order of the VST plugin with bit delay followed by channel strip is the important bit as well. So let's have a listen without the channel strip. <laughs> Okay, you might have noticed that without the channel strip, what we had is the delay, the same volume as the main vocal. And it's very distracting. It's more like um, the scouts group singing, row, row, row your boat, you know, uh, one bar after each other, or one sentence after each other. And that's not a really um, a good effect because it's distracting the main vocal uh, as it's going through. What we want is the repeat delay to come in only after at the end of the, the phrase or the last word. And the trick to achieve that is by the channel strip. With the channel strip, I'm just gonna turn it on. What I'm using is compression to control the bit delay's output volume. I have the compression at 100% and fast, and I also have the gain, the output gain, is automatic, so it automatically controls the output gain to balance it out. But one thing I have enabled is the sidechain. By enabling the sidechain, it allows an external audio signal to control the compression activation. Where here, 
I have the vocal pre-fader, so it does not matter what the volume setting here on the fader is. Pre-fader, full level, I'm sending it to the side chain. What happens then is that every time where the main vocal track is playing, it activates the compression at 100% and thus reducing the output volume of the effects channel bit delay. So that way, when the vocal is playing, the main vocal, the bit delay is at lower volume. Until the main vocal stops, well, the word finishes, this disengages the compression, so there's no longer compression, and the volume of the bit delay comes up. Let's have a quick listen and see, uh, so you can see what happens. Watch for the red compression. See the compression is always on until the song finishes. See, it's gone. And it's bypassed. So you can see how it actually affects um, with the sidechain compression to bring down automatically the volume of the delay, thus allowing the main vocal to stand out in the mix. And then when the main vocal finishes, the delayed repeat will come on and then we can hear it as a, a repeat. Great, isn't it? So let's have a quick play around with different effects of the beats. Let's bring this down to maybe half, half beat and uh, let's have a listen to what happens then. It's a shorter effect. Let's try. Okay. So, and then we can, if we add some feedback, let's add 5% feedback. This time we're going to get even more echo. And the whole idea of adding the channel strip and the compression on is to allow the main vocal to stand out so the beat delay does not actually affect it. And then we get a nice, clean, delayed output at the end of the verse. Well, I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any comment in regards to this video, feel free to comment below and I'm more than happy to expand and explain even further of what's happening or, or how to do things or how to achieve it. And if it was helpful for you, you can give me the thumbs up. Uh, that way I know it was helpful for you. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you can get updated as soon as I upload any new videos on my channel. Also, don't forget to visit my website, recordingstudio9.com. Lots more information there as well. And as always, great time making music. Till next time. Cheerio.